Hi friends, today we are going to see how to use the Geru Mitti and the Gond given in these beautiful DIY kits. Geru Mitti, also commonly called as red ochre, is the most commonly found minerals in the earth and this pigment has been used since prehistoric times for paintings on walls. Traces of this red ochre can be seen in the rock paintings of the Bhim Bedka rock shelters in Madhya Pradesh where the earlier traces of the human life in India have been found. And Gond is the natural gum obtained from the acacia species of plants, mainly baboon. It is used like any other normal glue for sticking pieces of paper. Here we are going to use it as a medium to fix the Geru Mitti on paper. I remember using Geru when making Rangori as a small Marathi during Diwali. Spreading the Geru in its liquid form in front of the house and then letting it dry to get it ready to put down the white Rangori powder is one of my vivid Diwali memories growing up in a Maharashtrian home. Traditions like these bind each beautiful state of our rich culture in India. Rangori in Maharashtra, Ipan in Kumau region of Uttarakhand, Kolam in South India, Alpana in Bengal, Arichan in Bihar, Bhugal in Andhra Pradesh, Saitya in Gujarat, Chaukpuran in Uttar Pradesh, and Madni in Rajasthan, just to name a few. We are going to see further what is Chittara, which is a folk art of Karnataka, which is similar to Rangori in Maharashtra. Let's open this Geru Mitti session. A beautiful red ochre mineral and I'm going to open the go on the extract too this is what the natural gum looks like Let's add around two to three tablespoons of water in bone so that it starts dissolving and starts becoming a sticky substance. You can see it slowly started dissolving. It will take about 5 minutes to dissolve and form a sticky gum. Meanwhile, let's add water in the Geru Mitti and let's add just the consistency. The gond is almost formed. Just have a little patience. It may sometimes take more than five minutes for it to dissolve completely. But you can see the stickiness is, you can see the stickiness. Let's mix this glue a little bit in the Geru Mitti, which we have mixed with water. So it acts as a medium to stick on the paper. There is no hard or fast rule of how many drops you want to put. Just use it according to your wisdom. <laughs> That's what I would say. We all are learning, can't we? 
this is the art journal that I'm going to uh, use for my experiment with the Geru Mitti. I've just created a barrier between the two pages by inserting a waste paper in the middle, just in case. And if you have a masking tape, you can use a masking tape or I have used this kind of tape. This is what generally, if you are using watercolors and you don't want to remove the paper from the pad, this is how you protect all the sides so that the water doesn't overflow and it protects this, your journal too. This paper is ready for the Geru application. You can either use a brush to just go ahead and put down your Geru, but I would tend to use a sponge to give that the texture of a wall. If you don't have the artist sponge, it's fine. Just use any normal sponge that you have in your house. I'm just gonna cut this a bit into a smaller piece. And use this sponge to dab. You can create beautiful textures. Don't forget to have fun. Sorry, the camera has been moving because of my hand. The tapes on the edges also gives it a clean border. Once the Geru dries, when you pull off the tape, Again, there is no right or wrong in this. It depends on you, how much you want to go ahead, where you want to stop. Since I have some Geru left, I'm gonna use it on this recycled cardboard box. It's an empty box. I have just colored it and I'm going to put the Geru on one side, just so that I don't wanna waste the Geru. I'll think about it, what I need to make out of it later. The objective of doing these exercises is to merely make our children and sometimes even ourselves aware of the rich culture that India has, how these natural elements are, are used in our Indian folk art. It's not about the outcome, but it's important to enjoy this whole process, this journey, while stimulating your creative mind. Just experience this joy of creating, doing it yourself. Isn't it amazing? I'm going to go ahead and try and see if I'm able to do this side and some more sides if there's more gear. I think I'm going a bit overboard. I don't want to waste any gear. Just want to squeeze the last layer of the gear. I just found an empty used envelope and a stencil which I had. having fun <laughs> let's check if this is dry and we are going to take off the the masking tape
take off this pedestal. Our surface is dried and we have got clean straight lines here because of the masking tape and just in case you know if the liquid if, if it have been too liquidy we protected the other sheets using the masking tape the envelope is dry too as well as the cardboard box people of the tribal community called divaru in karnataka create this beautiful art called chitara which is a mix of music painting and lifestyle motifs in chitara painting are very geometric and mainly lines the original painting on this box is done by hasuvante ishwar naik in my next video friends i will show you what this beautiful kit contains and we can create and how we can create our own chitara artwork Thank you. I hope you like this video.